Open Sides is finally open, and today we're going to go and have a look inside. We're going to try the food, and we're going to see what it's about. Starting off with its location, it's in Dalston, not too far from Dalston Kingsland Station. If you didn't fancy Sides that day, you also have Wingstop across the road from Sides, and also Dixie Chicken. There is plenty of options of food nearby. However, we are here for Sides, so I guess you want me to go in and see what it's about. It has just opened like literally two days ago I am, and I'm really early. Like in fact, I got there at 11 a.m. just as it opened. And this is my first impression. It, it looks super clean. It almost um, has this sort of 80s vibes. So if you look at the uh, cushions on the chairs, <laughs> it's proper like Stranger Things. <laughs> place is clear, open and well signed, so it, you can see where things are very clearly, which I like that in a place, you know, more seating this way. Uh, it's a lot bigger than I expected because the shop that was here before was quite um, like closed in. So the sauces, there are seven different sauces you can get on your foods. We'll come back to them in a bit, but having a look at the menu, you'll notice it's quite a small menu. So there's not like a lot of options, but there is a lot of variety because of the sauces. So you choose, you want chicken, you want wings, you want strips. You add them and then you add your sauce on top of that. Uh, you get your waffle fries with it. Also, your drinks are refillable as well. So this is the refill station. Now, there was music playing out in the background, so I couldn't have a lot of sand from the restaurant itself. So if you like Taylor Swift, there seems to be a lot of that playing that day. Uh, but overall, first impressions, it looks fantastic. Now, I suppose you want me to get to the food. I will, and here it comes. Look at that. Um, well presented, straight away. It looks so clean, like just, just the look of it, the smell of it. Uh, it doesn't look too greasy. Now, the one thing I went into this, I didn't want to like the look of the food. I didn't want to like the taste of food because I'm like, it was over high. It's all because it's all of the side, man. So I thought, I'm not going to like it, but we're going to get to that in a bit because I'm going to try it. So, but looking at it, it well, very well presented. Um, there's not much I can say more there. It, it, it looks so fresh and I guess you want me to try it. Like a mango. The Tennessee sauce, it wasn't too spicy. In fact, it was like a really medium kick to it, but it tasted really like mango, which I quite liked. If you like pickles, then this comes with a variety of them for some reason, uh, including on the wings, on the burger itself, and the waffle fries. Now, these are making a soul comeback recently. We never used to get them in the UK, but now quite a few restaurants do waffle fries as a standard. Uh, so Tim Hortons is one of them. I think that brought them over from Canada. And now I take the first bite of this burger and it confuses me and I will tell you why. And I figured it out. That was me trying to figure out why this burger tastes so good and why it confused me. It was soft inside, it was tender, it was crisp on the outside, it tasted like this kind of like gentle mango kind of Tennessee sauce, and that was confusing. Now, I didn't want to like the burger, I didn't want to like any of the food because it was like so high, everyone just goes there because it's sides and it's side men, but it was actually really delicious, and that is the most confusing part. It was so nice. Now, I understand it's just opened up in this location. So is that a thing because it's brand new and they want to impress? I think we're going to have to try in a few months or so and see if it's still standing. Now, the one thing you're going to want to try are the different sauces. I got the garlic mayo and I also got the Tennessee sauce. There are seven different kinds. I didn't have time to try them all. On this day, I'm giving this a nine out of 10 uh, because, you know, nothing can be 10 out of 10. Yeah, there can always be improvements in future, but nine out of 10 today, because its price matched its taste. It wasn't too wildly overpriced and it was absolutely um, delicious. So I definitely would try again and I would recommend you try it too. I would pick this place over other popular chicken shops any day. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. And goodbye.